My ultimate goal um, throughout the season and postseason, obviously, is to gain an advantage over the competitors. And by doing that, uh, I believe that maintaining strength, maintaining workouts throughout the season is one way to put myself above the rest. So just trying to get in the gym uh, twice a week with power train, um, just being able to maintain my strength and just make sure I'm staying at my peak performance level. Is there, has there been any girl that you've gone up against or played with in the past few years that can actually match you, that is as strong as you? I don't think so. I think maybe their posts obviously have that automatic advantage, but even I'm, I'm weighing up to some, maybe some of the post players, I don't know. So I'm probably around 165, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but it's whatever, but it's all, it's all muscle. So just being able to keep up with them while being able to stay in shape is definitely a balance that we're trying to get. Is it the strength that you pride yourself on on a court? Is it speed? Is it quickness? I mean, what what do you pride yourself most on? It's all of the above. I think it's just working on everything to maximize my athletic ability because I think I'm pretty athletic already. It's just using that to enhance it in a way and just to just to round out everything. So, Well, usually after this, um, I get done a little bit before 6, so I usually have time to go to the YMCA to, to shoot, get in 50 makes before school. Um, from there, I go to school, um, then we have practice, and then sometimes I, maybe three times a week, I get to train with uh, my trainer, uh, Coach Lou, with hard to guard, so uh, full day, but it's, it's fun. Well, it's more geared towards maintaining strength, so we're not really pushing my boundaries right now. It's more so just making sure I'm keeping up my peak performance level. So we're doing like pull-ups, push-ups, a lot of body weight stuff, uh, squats um, with weights, uh, a little bit of slight pushes here and there, and just cardio a little bit. So it's a little bit of everything, putting it all together, making sure I'm all good to go. Out of season, like we were just talking about it, uh, he's looking forward to making me cry every day. So I'm excited for that. Um, that's, a, that's a different animal, definitely. It's, it's a lot tougher, a lot more weight, a lot of, a lot of, Pain. But it's it's fun, so that's where that's where I'm definitely looking forward to getting better. Um, but that's off season, so we'll focus on that when we get there. Um, for a while, um, once I realized that going to college for basketball is what I wanted to do, I tried to put myself in the best situation to get to that level. So um, I started power training uh, last August, maybe or June, somewhere in the summertime, where I was I wasn't doing too much, and then I really picked it up during school. Um, and just try to make it routine. Yeah, well, I personally, I love, I love it. Like, I love getting better. I love being up before everybody else. I just feel like it puts me at an advantage, and it makes you feel good throughout the day. So I, I love what I'm doing right now, and I do think that's what it takes to be at this level. Um, to go to a Big Ten school, it's not going to be easy. You can't do, you can't be average. Mm. And so I'm constantly trying to put myself above that line, and. Uh, be prepared for college. My goal is to go into college the first day and be right at that level of the girls that have been there. So I'm excited. Well, I'm proud that every time I come in, I feel myself getting stronger. Um, there's certain days where I feel like I can lift the car. Now, is that true? I don't think so. But it's just, I think my legs are definitely probably the strongest, but my arms are, are pretty, pretty strong too. So. Well, I hear stories about, you know, like pro players and, you know, all these girls that have reached the top level of what it takes and I personally haven't encountered anyone that's that does what I do um, every morning uh, but I know I hear stories and that's what it takes you know I see videos of people getting up and it's just it kind of puts you at another level and if you're looking at that like that's something you admire and respect so I kind of you know I figured without what I wanted and I figured I need to do whatever it takes to get to that level so that's just kind of been my attitude ever since. The Bells was hands down uh, the best decision I've ever made. Um, I met so many lifelong friends, best friends through it. Um, it's been great coaches, uh, great experiences traveling around the country. Just overall the best thing that's ever happened to me. I got to meet a whole bunch of alumni um, like Brittany uh, Sykes. I got to meet a whole bunch of people. Um, just Maggie Lucas, like tons of alumni that have been a part of this program and they share what it took to get to that level. So being able to have these idols to look up to um, every day, it's it's awesome. So I'm very fortunate in that situation. I'm not really good at taking breaks. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, but after the season, um, I think I'll take probably more.